New Jersey man who filmed a Facebook Live video of himself begging for help inside a police station before he died may have had bacterial meningitis Officials are investigating whether 27-year-old Jamie Lowry had the potentially deadly infection when he streamed the frantic video in Patterson at 4 a.m. on Saturday Patterson Mayor Andre Sayas said on Thursday that he and others who had contact with Lowry were given antibiotics as a precaution Officials are awaiting lab results to determine whether Lowry had bacterial meningitis The father of three had called 911 early Saturday and claimed he had taken ecstasy and was paranoid He eventually went to the police station and started filming the sometimes incoherent video of himself In the clip, Lowry can be heard asking several cops for water while telling them he believed someone was trying to kill him As he focuses the camera on himself, Lowry appears to be sweating profusely and in an extremely agitated state I'm just paranoid, Lowry says in the video. I just need some water one of the officers can be heard responding, all right, the hospital has water Authorities said Lowry was subdued and then taken to St. Joseph's University Medical Center He was placed on life support but died on Monday Officials are awaiting the results of an autopsy and a prosecutor's investigation his family have demanded answers in relation to Lowry's death, claiming he showed up at the hospital with a fractured eye socket and broken cheekbone He appeared to be free of injuries in the footage His face wasn't like that in the video, Lowry's brother Jammer King told NorthJersey.com as well as the alleged injuries, King claims it took two hours between the video being filmed and Lowry being admitted to hospital for treatment What happened during the time? King said Hundreds of protesters took to the streets of Patterson on Tuesday night to demand answers into his death I want you to have those answers Right or wrong I want you to have those answers, police director Jerry Speziale said at a city council meeting on Tuesday night Law enforcement sources said there is no evidence that any police officer assaulted Lowry during the incident Officials said the officers involved have been placed on administrative leave while the matter is being investigated.